Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all the Legend of Zelda games for the Nintendo Wii. Also the footages you are going to see in this video aren't mine. It will be too much for me to replay two 70 hour long games just to talk about them in 5 minutes. I credited the owners, if there's a problem I'll take the video down. So the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess is amazing. And what is even more amazing about it is how Nintendo managed to enhance a masterpiece. Twilight Princess was already a masterpiece on the GameCube. Well, on the Wii, they managed to make it even better due to the fantastic motion controls. Swinging the Wii mode for this world feels marvelous. And you can even run and swing, something you couldn't do on the GameCube version. You can also aim your bow with the motion controls, which feel way better than using the GameCube controller. As for the gameplay, it has a similar structure to other Zelda games, with the sword and shield combat and gadgets and creative puzzles, and even if the game will feel familiar if you've played other Zelda titles, it's also unique. I mean, you will see new stuff everywhere, from puzzles to enemies, and unique to Twilight Princess is that Link can turn into a wolf, and you get long gameplay sections where you play only in wolf form. Also the game is huge, not only in length, taking you around 70 hours to finish the game, but the map of Hyrule is gigantic. Also the story is even more unique in Twilight Princess. You get a story that this time doesn't follow the key moments of other Zelda games. This time the story has a dark tone. Link is trying to prevent Hyrule from being engulfed by a corrupted parallel dimension, the Twilight Realm. To do this, he takes the form of both Hylian and Wolf. So in short, Twilight Princess on the Wii is the exact same game as Twilight Princess on the GameCube. The only difference is that here, the motion controls make everything so much more better, that it's really hard to return to the classic controller after experiencing the amazing motion controls. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is the first Zelda game made specifically for the Wii, and it's a masterpiece. It uses the same spot on motion controls that never get old, I mean every time I was in combat it was amazing. Analyzing where to hit an opponent that guards and strikes back makes the combat more enjoyable than the classic layout with a controller. Also in world building, Nintendo did again a tremendous job. I like the new art style, it's more joyful. This time the plot isn't dark, I won't tell you anything about the story because I will spoil you the experience, but I'll tell you this, it's great. And the cutscenes are epic, beautiful and well thought out, the villain is also charismatic, and I like that this time they made it so that each zone feels totally different. You will barely feel that you're doing the same thing twice. This game, just like all main entries of The Legend of Zelda, is a masterpiece. And Link's Crossbow Training is a game made for the Wii Zapper. I mean, it was made to promote the Wii Zapper. But it's not just a target practice game, like the cover will suggest. Nintendo managed to make even such a boring project into an amazing game. What makes the game amazing are the incredible controls and the creative levels. Each level feels unique and is a blast to play. The game has personality. It even has boss battles. Okay, it has two boss battles, to be more precise. So, even if the purpose of each level is to reach a minimum score, the game still offers so much variety that it makes it a great experience. And you get places where you have to stand in one place and defend yourself, or other places where you can roam around, or you get unreal shooting parts, or you just get a normal target practice. The game is varied. And also short. But at least, that short gameplay is really good. And the game is cheap. 